Hello world, Cosy here with another geek movie review and I apologise this is a little bit late but it's for Skyfall. So what happens in the latest James Bond movie Skyfall? Well, Bond is investigating an attack on MI6 from a former MI6 agent, an attack which is aimed mainly at M, played by Judy Dench, and Bond, although not fully fit to be out in the field, is out to prove that he's not a fossil of a, a bygone era, and also to, to stop this attack. So what did I think of Skyfall? Well, it's a fantastic piece of espionage drama. It is very, very modern in its styling. Uh, it, it still holds true in a lot of respects to the, the ethos of a Bond film, but it is trying to drag the franchise into the 21st century very successfully as well. Now, just to give you an idea, this film goes a little bit away from the whole Bond girl thing that most of the films have. They are Bond girls, obviously, in the movie. They don't play as big a role as they usually do. It goes away from the gadgets, which is something I personally wasn't a huge fan of. And I know that they're trying to make this more Bourne-esque, maybe. But the one thing that you expect, or one of the things you expect from a Bond movie, is these fantastic gadgets. He doesn't really have any. In fact, he has to bring back gadgets from previous movies, which is fantastic as a huge Bond fan to see. And I won't say what it is. You may already know uh, what he brings back. But it's fantastic that he does. But yeah, I, I'd like to have seen a little bit more. Just the, the fun edge of the, the gadget side of the Bond franchise. Acting is absolutely fantastic. For me, Daniel Craig is the second best Bond. I'm sure a lot of people think he's the best Bond, but no one's Sean Connery other than Sean Connery. And he's really proven that he can have a, a slightly more serious, almost at some point sinister, um, Bond, which is very much more like the, the novels, you know, the, you know the, the Bond that's the, the alcoholic, that has substance abuse problem, uh, and it works in, in the cinema while also still giving him some fantastic one-liners that, if delivered by some people, would come across cheesy rather than completely perfect, as they are delivered by Craig. Uh, Judy Dench is brilliant. Uh, Ralph Fiennes is fantastic as Maloney. The guy who steals every scene that he's in is Javier Bardem. I mean, we already know he's a fantastic actor. No Country for All Men proves that, but... He just steps it up as, as the villain. He is a fantastic, fantastic villain. Very sinister, very funny in parts. Uh, you, you kind of start to see why he's so mental as well. Brilliant performance. It's, it's the kind of performance that should be get, getting him another Academy Award nomination. Hopefully it will. Directing and cinematography, absolutely beautiful. The, the way this film is put together is dazzling and engrossing. Now, Sam Mendes has to be given credit for that. He is so, so good a director. I mean, we've seen that from previous movies like American Beauty, but he just proves in this movie he can do action perfectly, and the action movies can look beautiful. And this movie does. It looks beautiful throughout, especially the set pieces in some of the foreign countries that are used, like Turkey. It's absolutely amazing. Okay guys, my honest opinion of Skyfall is that it is five star movie. It is one of the best Bond movies of all time. It is the best of the Daniel Craig era. That's right, I think it's better than Casino Royale, I'm sure. Some people will disagree with me, but it's a fantastic movie. If you've not seen it already, Get yourself to the cinema and see this. If you have seen it, go and see it again, man. This is a fantastic movie. Just 2012's full of them. Skyfall, five star. Okay, guys. Until next time, thanks for watching. Down there is the like button. You click on that. Let me know if you liked this. Also down there is the comment boxes. You can leave me some comments. Tell me what you thought of the movie. Maybe some movies coming up that you'd like me to go see and review even. There's also a link in the description to my Facebook, my Twitter and my Tumblr. Follow me, follow this channel, 
see what's going on. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't. Make sure you pass this video on to everyone you know via the interwebs. And if you've missed my last Geek Movie Review, there's a link just there. You can click on that, pop out and watch that as well. Till next time, au revoir.